Day 18, The Transforming Power of the Resurrection There's no question that the Romans were successful in crucifying Christ. The Apostle John personally confirmed the death of Christ. John recorded the soldiers' confirmation that Jesus was dead. And John saw the guard pierce Jesus in the side with a spear, causing water and blood to flow from his heart. John 19, 33-35 Many others saw his body wrapped and placed in the tomb. Everything appeared to be over. But the Sunday sunrise revealed a stone that had been rolled away. Guards who had fled for their lives and an empty tomb. And this is where it starts to get good. People started seeing Jesus alive. The Apostle Paul recorded the living Christ appeared to Peter and then to the disciples and then to more than 500 other people. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 through 8. Hundreds of these first-hand witnesses would still have been alive at the time Paul wrote this letter. If you took the resurrection to court, and each of these 500 witnesses had only six minutes of testimony and cross-examination, it would add up to over 50 hours of first-hand eyewitness accounts confirming Christ was alive. The list of witnesses also included those who were hostile towards Christ before their encounters with him. The most notable of all these was the Apostle Paul himself, who encountered the resurrected Christ long after the fact. In his words, Then he, Jesus, appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all he appeared to me also, as to one abnormally born. For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 7 through 10 What stands out to me in Paul's account is not only his record of what happened, but how it affected him personally. This encounter with Jesus transformed him from an arrogant religious leader into a humble, faithful servant, a man transformed by the grace of God. May it be the same for each of us. Dear Jesus, your word says knowledge makes us arrogant, but love edifies. What a tragedy it would be if the proof of your resurrection became an object of my pride rather than fuel for my faith. I'm truly nothing without you. It's only by your grace that I am what I am. And I praise you, Lord. Glory to your name. Amen.